Bremen, he had gotten closer for a second. Hey guys, quick update. We got the uh, Hammonds flycatcher here. We're kind of running no video for a minute here. We're waiting for a phone call, but uh, pretty cool. We'll throw up some pictures and we'll see you along the way. Let's go. Alright guys, we're on the same trail, we just drove around to the opposite side after we grabbed a quick coffee. So we're going to walk back in this direction, we heard that there might be a, an owl nest over here, we're going to see if there's some fledglings surrounding it somewhere, or see if they're still in the nest. Uh, pine siskin on the tree right behind us, some house finches so far, but we're just going to head up. Morning doves calling. Yeah, osprey on top of a <coughs> man-made nest box. So we're going to... Head back down the same trail. Off we go. Let's go birding. Yeah, let's go birding. Oh, cowbird. <laughs> That's what I thought. It looked like a cowbird. Where'd he go? Cowbird. He just flew. <laughs> That's the first of your right cowbird. Up right up top. Oh, no, it's not. For me, it is. We saw him in the field. Oh, not cowbird. My, no. Not cowbird. I was thinking um, catbird. I thought it looked oh. like a catbird. Is, is there a catbird over here? Owl where? That? That's a morning dove. That's a morning dove. Oh, woo, yeah, woo, woo. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sound. It is surprisingly owl like. Um, they have seen catbird in here also. So okay. keep an eye out I thought it. that that <laughs> one came down was a catbird that came across, but because he looked gray to me, but we'll see. It's hard to to make a judgment call when you see the flash. Right here, catbird. <clears throat> That's him making all that racket, right? Yep. Is he on the close bush or the next one? Oh, he's on this tree right here in front of us. Oh, up high, I see him. Oh. Outside of my mind. I'm trying to get some B-roll of him if you can. I did see seconds. a catbird. Anyways, that's my first of your catbird. I don't know if you've yeah, seen one. Yeah, yet. for sure. Where? See that gray bird at the top of that? There's no that's leaf the cat on bird? it. Yeah, so he's got like a black cap on top of his head, and he's kind of. Um, I thought you said blackbird. Catbird. Cat I need you to keep track of what you're seeing now. Oh, okay. My phone is. There's a bunch of them though. She said it was next to a right there, big, right? big train. And that birch tree right here. Oh, right here, maybe. Could be, yeah. Yeah, right there. There's totally not an owl in that one. Uh -uh. That's a coot. Probably everyone. If, if it's that one, it's so close to the trail, people probably harassed it. So yeah. It's gone. The learning process for all of us. Yeah. But it wouldn't be as fun as if you just walked down the trail and you recognized everything. Ooh, uh, ooh, yeah, ooh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Then you wouldn't feel like you were obligated to try and find them. Especially if you like, say you listed off of audio. Well then, 
you wouldn't even have to bring your binoculars. You just walk out through the trees. But at that point, you might as well just sit at home and listen to it on YouTube. But it would help us identify them. It would be awesome. <laughs> it would help for sure. Well, it helps us anyway. We just don't know them by memory. Sora. Colin again. Colin again. A couple of Sora through. We basically never see them from this side of the river. We'd have to get really lucky. Spotting scope them, maybe. Oh, hold up. Right in front of us. Oh, <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> Too slow. He was running a lot slower than the last one we saw. Yeah. The Gregor Lake. You guys want to see content on McGregor Lake, we're going to make that uh, area Patreon exclusive. So support us on there, get some extra episode content. There's the gross beak right there, Paul. That was the flycatcher, I think. What was it? That's a catbird. calling again. Yeah, now he's back out by the open there. Is it the lead secure? That sounds like a western would be we. What? That one that keeps calling that descending. I just heard him. Right here. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, he zipped around and went all the way back. You get Paul to carry a backpack full of coffee. <laughs> coffee, like a hydro bladder that keeps it warm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stack of those paper cups or something. Yeah. And I got some, I got some high quality coffee right there. Some coffee. Some Cookies, donuts, <laughs> whatever the early birder may need. Snack packs, <laughs> snack pudding cups. <laughs> Very friendly dog. That's good. Avirio, two flycatcher species. Yep. A bunch of warblers, species, species yeah. catbird, good. good.
that's a chat. Isn't it? No. I say chat. That but it's gross beak? <laughs> so, it's a gross beak. <laughs> it's just facing me. I think it's uh it might be the black headed, it's just a female. Female maybe. <laughs> that's a chat. Now Misidentify. Now that conviction. I saw Bill, yeah. <laughs> Misidentify with conviction. Like that guy on our Pelagic. Brown pelican! And everyone's like, where? Everybody looked, saw it was a great horn, and he ducked into the cabin to hide. <laughs> yeah, I guess it could be um, like this, but he yeah, looked like yellower. Could be an evening gross beak, I suppose. Take the evening for the coloring. But There's the two of them here. Oh, he really Instead looked yellow habitat. like a chat, though. And I guess I better make sure he's not a chat. But. Make sure, but I'd like to get a better look at him. Should have. Well, I guess I'd... Did that take any bad pictures of it? There's something crawling around this tree over here. White around the side of his face. But not just the there eyes. go! It looks like a first winter uh, black headed gross beak. That oh, stripe yeah. over a little bit buffy. Buffy on the chest. Damn. I've only ever seen a chat like in Missouri, anyways. I just wanted it to be a chat. Don't let it be a bird you want it uh, to be. A white coloring around his neck. Yeah. Spotting. Yeah. The the chat, it's not, this isn't a chat area. Nah. It would be a pretty rare one. Not a chat, don't listen to me. Ah, oh, chipmunk. <laughs> That'd be a good picture though, eating those flower <laughs> petals Stop. or something. A chip mark? Yeah. Zoo! Doing that dive bomb thing. How many birds zipped in there? <laughs> I don't think they care. Uh, I don't know We've why. We've been I trying do. all morning. None of them have really cared that much. It's a habit. I've been doing it for so long. I can't help myself. It does work on some birds. Sometimes. And it's like sometimes some species that'll work, you know, on one bird in a species but not any others. <laughs> we must be making him mad. Yes. Or he, or there's another hummingbird in there another he's dive bombing. Because he's dive bombing that bush. Yeah, brother, was that a red? Ah, losing my mind. The one up in the tree right here in that dead branch of that great big one that was just making a bunch of noise. Yeah. yeah. Oh, down low, brother. That's an Oriole, isn't it? Yeah. Where at? That on, out on its own in the dead branch. Right hand, left hand, left hand side on the pine tree. Oh, Say Bullock's Oriole. Good. Same spot. No reason. Left side up there. What the heck? Seriously? It's right He's still in the same spot. <laughs> oh, I'm too low.
I would have to say that is a positive ID, yeah, sir. That would be a Baltimore. All dark head. Bullets wing. Oreo. Solid white on the wing. Lifer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just Steve. <laughs> That's awesome. Welcome, I haven't Steve. seen one in years. Good night, Paul. Paul. What's that bird out there? I'm looking, hold up, right here in the. Last oh, time I was in Robin, past, so it was, was kind of disappointing. At. I almost didn't say anything. No, always say it. Yeah. You can be wrong a million times. <laughs> as long as we're looking. That's awesome. Add it to the list. Wish we could get a better picture of him. Not against the sky, but it's identifiable. Awesome. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, that's a good picture. picture. Nice. Not against this. It's pretty good. I'm starting to figure it out. It's going to change dove. the settings. It'd be great if he came down onto the road. <laughs> Might get a lower branch if we go over if there. If you could just hold out your hand and have him land on your hand, that'd be perfect. <laughs> nice eye, Paul. All white crown sparrows on this bush here. Is that what's down low? Yeah. Oh, there's, there's some. Oh. oh, that was a nice lighting. He's still going. I never saw uh. him stop. Yeah, all the way down. Did he go? Let's all try. Probably. Action scene, action scene. Stop, yes, yes. stop, stop. Oh. <laughs> Still against this guy. He was down low there for a second. Robin, it looks like. There he goes. Across the highway. Oh, that's still awesome. Woo! We had an action scene. <laughs> action burning. Not bad. I'm happy with that. That's awesome. Awesome bird. Yeah. Great. Great hike. Lots of good birds. Lots of year birds, lifer birds. Man, now if I could just see, see that some deer. Inga. <laughs> Inga. <laughs> I keep looking for a wood stork, but I have not seen him yet. I know where he lives. <laughs> Jekyll Island. Exactly. Future episode. Stay tuned. Just have been a uh, female yellow warbler. It's like just basically all the way over. <laughs> nice. Oh well, we can't catch them all. We caught a bunch today. Yeah. Look at that. There's that chipmunk just out, like up high on his own, and, uh, <laughs> hanging out in the tree. That's bizarre. Eating those flower petals. Probably getting pollen out of them or something, or nectar. I don't know. Or unless he's eating bugs out of it. Maybe. I can't find him in my camera. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. I blame Pokemon for the reason I bird anyways. It's mostly their fault. If Pokemon Red hadn't come out, we'd have been okay. Yeah, but, you know, you start finding out how many different species there are, and then you want to see them, and then you want to see them all. Then so you're you know, traveling, you travel halfway the across world. the planet <laughs> to the opposite side of the planet. <laughs> a good thing, though. It's very exciting. Everything smells really, really nice. The rain and all these white flowers smell super duper good. It's awesome if it weren't for all the highway noise and I'm kind of regretting having to walk past those dogs again but minor problem yeah it's so nice for all the birds yeah totally worth it 
when we're down in the southern swamps, we'll be remembering this day with no bugs, low humidity. That's a really nice shot of a Wilson's warbler there, plain as day. Well, I don't know if you got a shot, but he was at least up in the open. Nicely done. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> That'll work. We so, had a few issues last week with the camera. Yeah. We put a neutral, neutral density, density filter, yeah. and it looked like we were shooting everything through a paper sack, <laughs> or a potato <laughs> chip sack. Catbird. Catbird. So you guys are gonna oh, it's a cat bird. see the last episode where we where all did we go? We did Lone Pine, we did the West Valley Ponds, and we did Heron Park. But uh, the audio, we fixed our audio problems. That's why there's a Patriot exclusive episode because it just was not good enough for us to just release. There's a high, real high pitch squeal again. The audio quality was so bad that yeah. we just kind of bailed on the episode. We so thought we'll we do could, some voiceover for Patreon. Yeah, kind of we thought we could things. get away with that out using the lapel mics and just use an earbud. But basically just recorded Jim and then there was no ambient. So you couldn't hear any of the bird calls or any of the water or anything. And we just said it, it was a whole day. We went to Libby. We saw all sorts of stuff. We saw Red Start and other things like that. I hear that peewee again King up there. Kingfisher. Kingfishers, yeah. Spotted uh, sandpiper. Lots of yellow warblers, but it didn't work out. Uh, common merganser. Um, so we scratched that. I edited for a couple hours on that one and just said, you know, this is so bad. It's, we didn't feel comfortable releasing it to you guys. Um, so the next episode, we had our audio all fixed, but all of the pictures and video looked really bad because we had that neutral density filter on there. The idea was to, like in case you hit your lens on something like that, it's cheaper to replace an $80 filter than to replace the entire lens, but it's not hardly worth anything if you have an expensive lens that doesn't do anything. Can't take any pictures. Yeah, so. He just would not stop moving. Little bitty guy just kept going.
stupid. You don't oh. have to carry poop. Hoping. I wouldn't want to carry poop around. Sarah Robin. That's what I was looking at earlier. <laughs> Brush! Ah, uh, that's what it's all about. Get to get that heart wrenching. Yeah. You know it's a robin here. Yeah. Go! Oh, what is that? <laughs> Just a robin. The adrenaline starts pumping again. Yeah. Pretty much fried after a heavy day of birding. <laughs> Walk like two miles. Done. <laughs> Feels like you did 30. It's too much on your heart. You get all the highs <laughs> and lows. Oh, it's a yellow bird to chat. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Can't help but get excited. Seen them before. Or did I? They're always cool. <laughs> yeah. Paul, oh, find me another rare, rare bird. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing good today. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine what you do with some binoculars. If you guys hear something we completely don't react to because we don't recognize it, let us know and we'll <laughs> see about coming back and trying to identify them. <laughs> so I hear lots of stuff and I don't recognize most <coughs> of it. <laughs> I just basically try and listen for, listen for something that I don't recognize hearing earlier in that same trip and try and look at it. But I thought I thought these ones sounded like uh, yellow rump warblers again, but kind of a tip if you're out in the woods and it starts raining on you. You look at the ground here, you can see several dry spots. It's been raining for hours, rained through most of the night. But underneath these big trees, dry as it can be. Sounds like a chipmunk. Maybe it's another gross beak. <laughs> you never know. Yep, it's a gross beak. Really? <laughs> Another dark male. Oh, down the through. Oh, he's right here. Oh, there he is. The Sandy Claus. He flew down. Ho, ho, ho! Hook! 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 <laughs> Banana! Ba -na -na, ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Ken, I've had an apostrophe. <laughs> so quick that he's even fast asleep. <laughs> so birdie. Alright guys, if you're ever up in the Kalispell area, Sunny Boone Memorial Trail, highly recommend. Except Very for the good. dogs. Very good. Swing by early, probably sunrise is a better time to hit it. Yeah. We got here at 7, about 7 o'clock. It was awesome at 7, but sun came up an hour before six, that. Yeah, really, six. so you can get up here at 6. My ears are so confused. <laughs> that was, that's that cat bird. <laughs> 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 Sitting over there talking. Nice. There, he's a one. Oh yeah, there was mouth open and everything. <laughs> All right guys, that's it for the Sunny Boom Memorial Trail. We did uh, out and back from this side and then that uh, in and out earlier today. 
thanks for joining us. We saw lots of birds, we saw a couple of lifers. We still got to go over all the, the lists, but yeah, ton at of least two birds. for me, at least one for Jim. So really good trip. Very birdie. Highly recommend this trail. Absolutely. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Keep birding.